In this video, you will learn how to use Fusion 360 to build your robots using the VEX kit. Fusion 360 is a design program that lets you view objects you are building in three dimensions. You can use Fusion 360 on an iPad or on the Chromebook. Begin by logging in using your Project Lead the Way information. You will build your first robot in Activity 2, Input and Outputs. Use the link in Part 1, Step 2, to get to the testbed plans. A new window for Fusion 360 opens in your browser. If you are presented with an option to install an app, ignore this and select the Continue in Browser option. The testbed file will load in the browser window, and the first thing you will see is what the robot will look like when you've completed building it. Press and hold your finger or mouse pointer and move it around on the screen to see the sides, the back, and the bottom of the robot. Pinch in and out to zoom. To begin the instructions for building the robot, select the play button in the upper left corner. An animation window opens. Tap on the window to get started. Then close the animation window using the X in the upper right corner. You will see a play button added to the options on the bottom of the screen. You can start and stop the video using the play and pause buttons. Once the video is playing, a time lapse bar appears. You can pause the instructions by tapping slightly above the time lapse bar where the play button appeared. Tap the same location to begin playing the instructions again. You can also X out of the time lapse bar. However, when the bar is on the window, you can also scroll back to repeat the directions. The pan tool, represented by this hand, allows you to move the robot around on the screen without turning it in the 3D environment. The other tools on this toolbar will not be useful to you. It is not recommended that you use the other tools as they will slow down your progress in building this robot. As you work, you may want to have the instructions play from the beginning again or reset your screen. Tap your refresh button on the browser to have the robot image restored to the beginning. Finally, here are two tips to help you build your robot with precision. First, play one set of instructions at a time and then repeat them. Pause the directions and replay them to make sure you are following them exactly. Replay the directions as many times as you need using the time lapse bar to make sure that you are following them. Second, once you have built each part of the robot, before going on to the next set of directions, move the image around in the 3D environment to see all sides of the design. Notice the exact position of each item by counting holes from the end or by using other marking features. Have fun building your robot.